about to go get on some fish. Stay tuned. We're at Sam Rayburn once again. I saw that y'all liked my last video. If you have not checked it out yet, go check it out. It's a 24 pound sack on Sam Rayburn. We did pretty good on that pre-fish, but could not get on them during tournament. So please check that out. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a blast. Two and three quarters. I haven't caught many fish today. Almost a three pounder. Still in the twos, but caught him on this swim jig. First decent fish of the day. He wants to give you something. Mm -hmm. Oh god, he's going quit. Oh, hey, put this up, Wait, Tom. Where's the sandwiches at? Got a sandwich. Seventy-five? It's probably seventy-five. That's gotta be yeah, seventy-five. Yeah. No, it's seventy-eight. Seventy-eight? Yeah, it's fueled. We're loaded with some tanks too. Fuel, tackle. Big old fish. But bust open the live wall. Bust them. Yeah. Oh, wait, are they ready? 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 Oh. Oh my. What is that? That's a hog. Oh, oh he's too big. Oh, he's, he's too big. big. How you oh. gonna run ah, ah, ah. Are we keeping him in here? I don't know. Oh my! One guy. The, the, that's the that was, that was the dink. This is the hog right here. Jesus, I dropped him again. Aaron, got him. Oh, oh, oh my! my. Oh. And that's fine. Hi. Sorry. Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, hold on, stop. You smell something? Oh. Dude. Hey, hey. It's that big on the dog. Big old stank, big old guys. Stank. Oh, hello guys. Um, welcome back to another exciting episode of um, How to Catch Dinks. On how to Catch Raven. Dinks on Pre-Fish Day because you still got fishing. Okay, so it's 6.48 right now. The tournament starts at seven. We pulled up at a, a spot that we fished last tournament and we did not pre-fish it because we didn't want to spook anything because we are 80% sure that we will catch something on it. But we don't know, we, we got a, it's a flip of a coin, so stay tuned and hopefully we catch them. We are eighty percent sure. Inside, yeah. These two put on. Quit. 
What? I thought you didn't want to throw in the rock. They don't. They don't go in the rock. Shut up. We need four more. Put something on. Exactly like what I said. Right here in this. See, you see the like the land. You see the shark right here yeah. between both of them. I just threw it in there. Dude, put them in the land. You little stumper. Right after that footage you just watched, um, my camera dies and I wasn't really worried about it because we only caught one fish that day and it was 30 minutes till the tournament was over and I wasn't even going to make this video and I wasn't even going to do anything with this. I was just going to delete this footage, not worry about it, don't even post it. And so we had a decision to either weigh this fish in and look like two amateurs weighing one fish in or we just throw this fish back, head to the house, and don't even say anything about it. Pull the fish out of the live well. We looked at it and we're like, man, maybe this fish isn't as big as we thought it was because whenever we catch a fish, we immediately put it in the live well and we don't even, like, we don't, like, get to look at it long so we can't really judge the fish. So we're like, maybe this fish isn't as big as we thought it was. We were guessing, like, four pounds. We're, like, in the threes, maybe four pounds. So we peel it out and we're like, man, this fish is a little bit smaller than we thought put it on the boga, and a boga is a spring lotus scale. They're pretty expensive, you can get them at Academy, and they work tremendously. And we put the fish on the scale, and the scale ends right here, and the three, three pound mark was right there, so we loaded the fish up, and we went to weigh in, not worrying about anything, just kind of, okay, we might have a chance at this, not really thinking we had a chance, just maybe, out of a one in a million. So we get to the weigh-in, we wait in line, get up to the big scale, and the fish is 3.29 pounds. So we're like, ugh. Oh. So we're like, okay, we really know. We need to go to the house. Aaron's like, all right, let's go. We can get back to the house because it's Sunday afternoon and we have school in the morning and we have to get ready for school. And I was like, dude, we need to go check this fish because right as we weighed the fish, the guy turned to me and he was like, y'all need to go check this fish because it might be because the, the scale could be off. So we went over to the three pound pot and he was just like, we need to go, quote, worrying about it. I was like, we need to test, we need to really see if this might be the three pound fish. We go over there, we put the fish on the scale, it immediately jumps to 3.98. And then it goes to 3.99, back to 3.98, up to 3.99, 3.9 again. And as soon as the it stops, it stops on 3.00, the lady looks at us and told us that we won $6,200. So we were both stoked. I was shaking so bad. It really didn't feel like we won anything because we only caught one fish and it was three pounds. Like anybody can catch a three pound fish. It's more luck of anything. It's I'm not bragging about it, but I'm not bragging about it of, of any means, but we were just excited that we won some money. The way this three pound pot works is that everybody puts $5 in if you want to be in this pot. You don't have to put it in the pot, but if you want to, you can. Everybody puts $5 that want to be in it. And if you win it, obviously you win all the money. But if you don't win it, then the money rolls over to the next tournament and the money keeps on adding up. And that's what happened for three tournaments and then we won it. So we won a good chunk of money. And th that's what made this video. I know there wasn't many fish in there. And I apologize for that because we weren't really on our game that day. Couldn't really find a fish bite. But hopefully this week we have a tournament and we're pre-fishing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday have a tournament Saturday and we'll be coming home Sunday. So maybe we can find a fish bite and hopefully it doesn't turn out to be just like the 24 pound sack if you haven't watched that. We caught a whole bunch of fish on pre-fish and caught like 12 pound, 10.59, something like that, pounds on tournament day with a five and a half pounder. But it was, it was, it was a crazy weekend. So stay tuned for this weekend. Hopefully you liked the video. I know there wasn't, but hopefully you liked it. So thank you for watching. Texas Tech.